Hello Pisces, welcome to your reading and as always I hope you're doing well and uh, Pisces if you're new here my name is Joe and I'll be doing a reading for all sun, moon, rising and Venus placements okay. As usual please do keep in mind that my readings are timeless and they are general so just take whatever resonates and leave the rest behind. And the best time for you to watch or listen to my readings is when you come across them or if the title catches your attention that's why they're timeless and that's usually how it works. Do feel free to browse my channel. You might want to check some of the previous readings that I've done for your sign. But Pisces, more than anything, do check what other signs you have in your other placements, mostly Moon, Rising, and Venus. And then you can go ahead and check out some of the readings that I've done specifically for those signs. Mostly if you're having a hard time finding a reading that resonates with you or you feel connected with, okay? Sometimes that happens and it usually means that your messages are just simply coming stronger from those placements. It all depends on your life path or journey. And last but not least, please do subscribe, hit the like button, leave me a comment. I would truly appreciate it very much. It's always the best way to support a channel and help it grow. And thank you to all of you who have already liked, commented, subscribed, and for your kind donations. I truly appreciate all of your support. support. Thank you. I truly appreciate it very much. All right, Pisces. Okay, Pisces. Let's get started. Okay. Pisces, you've got the three of cups as a starting energy of your reading or the current energy that you're dealing with or will be dealing with soon or the heart of the matter. Celebrating. Enjoying life, appreciating, expressing gratitude. You're meant to be in the right environment with the right people around you. Pisces, um, try to connect with only people who are like you, who think like you. Doesn't matter what gender, doesn't matter what age, and doesn't matter what sign they are. Just try to find some type of support system with people that are like you and, you know, and try to stay in this higher vibrational energy. Yes, that's what I'm trying to say. Be with people of a higher vibrational energy. And, um, and don't forget to enjoy life. Crossing you, challenging you, blocking you is the moon. And that's your energy. Right off the bat, I just felt because this is your major arcana, you know, Pisces, Piscean energy. And it's not about the mysteries. Well, it is, but more than anything, it's just, I just really think that you're having our time Stepping into your power, being who you truly are, or being who you're truly meant to be. Believing, trusting. Don't let the fears, doubts, insecurities, the lack of not being able to see with things with clarity, get the best of you. Uh, you are meant to ascend. Pisces, remember, just this wild wolf and a domesticated dog, okay? They're both howling at the moon, which is this divine energy. And you being the domesticated dog are meant to howl at the moon just the way the wolf has been doing it for many generations. This is breaking free from dogmas, belief systems. Because after all, you know, there is this wild wolf inside of you, but you're not letting it shine. You're meant to embrace the mystery and answer to this higher divine calling. Don't let fear get the best of you and just go with the flow of things. And remember to enjoy life every single day. Make it a special day. 
crowning your conscious mind, you are aware of this, you're constantly thinking about it. Hmm. Could be a desire for some of these, the justice card, Libra energy. Pisces, uh, some of you really want some type of justice to be served here. You really want things to be, you really want everyone to get their karma or dharma. You're not meant to do this, okay, remember, stay humble and let justice be the one to do the work or this work, okay? You just focus on yourself and allow things to play the way they're meant to play. But it's important that you stay in this energy of, I get this energy, wow. I think some of you are tired of dealing with something or someone. It's always this uh, something in surrounding you where you're not always, you know, you can't see things with clarity. Maybe you're not meant to. You just wish that things would be more balanced, fair, just, okay? It's okay to speak your mind if you have to, but you know, when it comes to justice, let let it do the work for you. But always remember that if you always speak your truth and you're truly loyal to yourself, everything will always play in your favor. But more than anything, it's important that you stay or you remain in this energy of joy, gratitude, very positive, very high vibrational energy. Don't forget to always be in this no matter what. Okay? Don't let that dark Piscean energy get the best of you. You know what I mean. You know what I'm talking about. That dark Piscean energy will always fuck you up. You have to be on the positive side always, or as much as you can, okay? And it's important that, yeah, you always surround yourself with energies that are high vibrational. This could be friends, other maybe family members, or people who you can really rely on that can help you um, stay there as much as you can. This is some type of support system. It's a support system. You need a support system. Because you could be dealing with something that is very challenging for you. Below you, subconscious mind you're not aware of and you should. Divine wants you to focus more on this. Where are your angels and guides? Eight of Cups, Pisces, you're meant to leave something behind, you're meant to turn your back on something and just, you know, walk away, move away. If you are in a situation where you're not happy, stop engaging, stop feeding it, stop dealing with it and just start walking away from it. To from the eight, we go to the nine of cups, towards what really matters, and that is you, your own emotional fulfillment, to whatever makes you happy, to putting yourself first, to making yourself a priority, okay? Uh, stop pouring your emotions into something that is not emotionally fulfilling you anymore. And this is why you need this uh, support system. I know you want things to be, you, you want some type of justice to be served. Just let things play the way they're meant to, okay? You can't serve this justice, you're not allowed to. 
That's the binds work. Or if you're dealing with uh, legal matters, that could be for some of you, I don't know. But you have to just, you know, just be true to yourself. True and loyal. Be true with your communication. And stay in this high vibrational energy. And that will always help you and support you. But I think more than anything, this justice energy is just as divine. Um, divine justice. The energy that's behind you, recent past, where you're coming from, or the reason why you're going through this situation as a high priestess, some of you are going through some type of an ascension. If not, maybe some of you could be starting your spiritual journey. Some of you might be starting to have some awakening symptoms. You have to trust. Don't be afraid. Again, this is Piscean energy. You're meant to trust. Have faith. Listen to your higher voice. Listen to your to your higher self. Something about your third eye. Just listen to your intuition, please. Uh, don't let your pineal gland calcify. Exercise your third eye. There's uh, practice meditation. Breathing. Some of you might want to cut down on the coffee or stimulants. If that is the case. And let your your higher self work the way it's supposed to work. Proper diet for some of you. Okay. But uh, yeah, uh, you are ascending. You're meant to ascend. You're probably going through some awakening symptoms or you're just going. This is your spiritual path. This is part of your path, okay? Don't fear, don't be afraid. Embrace the mystery. Do your magic. Some of you have to rely on your spiritual gifts. If you don't know what they are, you, you, will, you, sh you have to start discovering them. Some of you might want to start practicing, I don't know, uh, Reiki, um, yoga, tarot, um, I don't know, anything. And start making use of it. Okay. In front of you, where you headed to? What's coming towards you? Yeah. Where you're meant to head to is the eight of wands. Changes. You're meant to move towards this energy. You're meant to go with the flow or let things flow. Eight of cups, eight of wands. You're meant to move into this energy of changes. You're meant to manifest changes in your life. Some type of clarity. If you are trying to figure something out, when you try to make sense of something, I just heard that everything will come in. The messages will come in. When you, on the right time. And don't try to force anything. Just, just let things flow the way they're meant to. Okay? It's very important that you do that. Just go with the flow of things. And uh, everything will play. You have to let things play the way they're meant to. You just have to focus on you and stay in this high vibrational energy. You are ascending Pisces, that's the thing. And you just have to focus on yourself and leave behind. Stop uh, investing your emotions or your energy into situations or things or people that don't give you much in return. It's, it's time to walk away from that. This is how you should see yourself or respond to a situation or to a representation of in this reading. Three of Swords. You're meant to work on yourself. You're meant to heal. You're meant to raise your vibration.
don't stay in this lower vibrational energy of pain, hurt, thinking why things never work out for you, why people keep hurt, keep hurting you. There is a reason why people keep hurting you. It's because you have allowed it. It's because maybe you have been surrounding yourself selves with the wrong type of people or because you've been pouring a lot into situations that you're not meant to. You have to just let go and move on. Justice will be served. Stop thinking about that. Everybody will get their karma. Okay? And just embrace the mystery. Don't, don't, don't be afraid. Answer to this higher calling. You're meant to let this inner wolf shine. Some of you might be, might have a spirit wolf type, some type of a wolf animal. It's guiding you. It could even be a pet. I don't know. The energy that's uh, surrounding you, influencing you, inspiring you, Page of Pentacles, is about having a new beginning and allowing yourself to, you know, hope for the best, hope for something new, something bigger, something better. Allow yourself to dream big, just keep it real, always keep it real. Real in the sense that, you know, it's you, it's, it is possible to manifest anything in life. But when I say keep it real, you know, just make sure that it, it, it takes less than a lifetime to manifest it, okay? Um, allow yourself to have a new beginning. Don't be afraid of starting small and fresh and all over again if that's the case, okay? You're meant to have a new beginning here. I can see that clearly. Something more stable, more promising is much better. You have to trust. And your hopes and fears, ten of swords, it's all that backstabbing, all that betrayal that you've been through, you know. I think it's not so much that you're afraid of it. I think more than anything, I think you're already used to it. I think you're just tired of it, okay. I don't think this scares you anymore. You're not scared of being betrayed because you've been betrayed so many times already. It, it's, it's, it's like, maybe that's the thing. You feel that it's already a part of you. But I think you're, you're just tired of it, of dealing with this constantly over and over and over again. His hands are, his fingers are crossed behind, well, on the, on the ground, just the way the high, the high priestess, the hierophant has his hand. That's the hand of faith. And you have always had faith, no matter what you've been through. You've always hoped for the best. And that's okay. But uh, you're going to keep getting hurt if you're always expecting that to happen. This is why this is the energy that's representing you, because you're always hoping for this. Not hoping for this, but just waiting for it, for this to happen. And it's time now for you to heal this and stop focusing on that. You just want things to be more fair. You have to stop thinking about how badly betrayed and hurt you've been in life. Okay? It's time for you to put that... It's time for you to walk away. Maybe even from these thoughts and emotions, a way of thinking. But it's time for a change and a new beginning.
but that's what the speech pedicles is telling you. And you have to allow some type of change to come in. You have to go with the flow of this change. And you're meant to start this change in your life. Outcome or advice is the nine of, of wands. You see, there you are trapped in this cage of I've been betrayed too many times. I've been hurt too many times. You're meant to go out and play and enjoy life, the way they're telling you here. You're meant to celebrate, live life to the fullest, appreciate, and not stay in this place feeling hurt, scared, cornered. You have to get out of this. way of seeing things. You are meant to ascend, Pisces. You're meant to keep going. You're meant to keep growing. Okay? Stop thinking so much about, you know, I think your ego might be getting a little bit here on the way. I don't mean to call you out that way, but, you know, I know I understand you want things. Maybe you just want things to be fair, and that's okay. There's nothing wrong with that. But don't try to serve justice. Do not do that. That will, I think that will be your downfall if you try to take control of that. That's not your job to do that. That's the bias job. You have to step back and just focus on you. And justice will come and do the rest for you. Sun in the bottom of the card. You're meant to have a new beginning. Leo energy. So, yeah, I, I felt it with this card right here. You're meant to have a fresh new start. That's, uh, that's why there's this baby. A fresh new beginning, a fresh new start, a rebirth. And maybe even another opportunity somewhere else. But more than anything, this is finally seeing things under a new light. More clarity. Okay. This is the opposite of the moon. Okay. And there's nothing wrong with the moon energy. It's just I just pick up all these fears and insecurities that they're getting the best of you. And you're meant to embrace this fears and mystery and make it turn into something more, you know, just playful, uh, enjoyable. It's as if saying, well, let's see what what this new day brings for me, you know? And don't, instead of living in fear of, oh, well, now what's going to happen, you know? Because you're constantly in this energy. And, uh, yeah. You, you have to change that. It's, it's seeing things under a different light. Beautiful energy. Okay, the world, the last of the major arcana. It's about closing cycles for new beginnings. Okay. Having this with the sun card, that's that's you know, you're meant to have a new a new beginning here, a fresh new start. But you're meant to allow something to come to an end. You're meant to walk away on something, or you're meant to give yourself a proper closure. Okay. Then we've got the Nine of Swords, which is, you know, it's 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 always that constant negativity. Always replaying things. The negative... Uh, all the negativity you've been through, all the pain you've been through, over and over in your mind, it's always keeping you trapped nine and nine. It's always keeping you trapped in this state of not wanting to step out and, and do what you're meant to do. Enjoy. Live life. Things will be balanced, things will be, become fair and just. But all you have to do is just focus on yourself, Pisces. Okay? Okay, let's uh, get additional messages, advice, or warnings from this other deck, which is always something I like to do. 
you never know, you'd be surprised what comes out. Then we'll close your reading with the Dream Decoder Oracle deck. Okay, what other messages do you have for Pisces regarding this reading or situation, please? If there's something else they need to know, what would it be, please? What other messages do you have for Pisces, please, regarding this reading or situation? That's it. They say they want me to take that one, too. King of Wands in the bottom of the deck, that's, you know, it's time for you to be in control of your life, being in charge. It's time for you to take action and change things. If there's something you have to leave behind, I think it's time to do so and allow new beginnings, new changes, to come in to your life, okay? Then I got the Queen of Wands. This is about enjoying, embracing the mystery. Remember that black cat, that's her name, mystery. That's her cat, and she loves mystery, and you, so you do. So do you, Pisces. You have to enjoy love and embrace the mystery. Don't fear it. Black cats are not a, a nomen of bad luck. Bad luck is only created by your way of thinking, and it comes from this. From this. From the fears. You're meant to embrace that mystery, and raise your vibration. That's why you're going through all this. Something about that justice card is just bugging me and I don't know why. I just hope it's just you hoping that things would be more or would have been more fair. But I just hope it's not something that you are a little obsessed with by serving some type of justice. I really hope you're not, because if you are, I really want to stress it out and warn you that if it is, that it's going to be your downfall. Because uh, then you're not focusing on yourself the way you're meant to. And you might be acting from a, some type of a state of revenge or something like that. I don't know why I get that energy. I'm sorry, but it's not for all of you, but it's for someone who really needs to hear that. Focus on you. Focus on your healing. Focus on your self-love. Divine love. Support. Make peace with everything in your past. Please. Okay. It's about raising your vibration and going after this new beginning and don't fear dare to be innocent fearless okay and curious wherever you go whatever you want to do okay okay let's close your reading with a dream decoder oracle message and uh, remember that whatever message comes out to dream meaning, whether you've had this dream or not, it doesn't matter. Uh, maybe you will have it someday, maybe you never will. Don't take it too personal. Just take the message as additional advice that might help you later down your journey. Okay?
Pisces, you got technology. So the technology card says computers, laptops, and tablets occur very commonly in dreams. So to be so to heavier pieces of hardware such as elevators or escalators. Often the technology malfunctions or proves frustrating in some other way. If it's a computer, your files may get deleted or corrupted, or you are unable to access access them or receive messages or emails. If it's an elevator, the mechanism sticks. We think of, we think of technology as a servant program to obey our bidding. Hence, devices that malfunction in a dream show that we aren't in as much control of a situation or relationship as we think. In your interpretation, consider the purpose of the technology. A dysfunctional email system may imply that you are struggling to connect or communicate your true feelings to someone, or being insufficiently clear or empath emphatic about your needs. If this, if this doesn't fit, look for other sources of frustration the dream may reflect. Something obstructing your career? The feeling that technology is passing you by? Okay. All right, I hope that message helps you somehow. But more than anything, I do help, I mean, I do hope that this reading helps you and it gives you the guidance and the answers that you are seeking at this moment of life. And Pisces, uh, if you do like and enjoy it, please do hit the like button, leave me a comment. I would truly appreciate it very much. And uh, as always, I do hope to see you next time. And please do stay safe, be happy, and stay very blessed. Goodbye.